You know what? We are in for it as well. First alert meteorologist Ron Smiley tracking all of this for us. And Ron, there's a lot to talk about. Yeah, there certainly is. This is going to be our third big winter weather system rolling through. Over the last week, we have seen two. This will be the third just over a week's time uh, that we will be looking at. This is bringing, you can see all the snow that's pummeling places like Iowa over into northern Illinois and Wisconsin. Severe weather. We've even seen some tornado warnings down in parts of Arkansas this morning. That line will continue to move off to the east. For us, we're going to be right in the middle. We're going to get mostly rain with this system as it slides through. It's also going to bring with it another windy couple of uh, hours. In fact, we have high wind warnings that start at 10 o'clock this morning. Wind advisories that start at 4 o'clock this afternoon, and all of those advisories and warnings go all the way through Sunday morning. So this is going to be a long event when it comes to just how windy it's going to be out there. This is a good time to go out to your yard, kind of look around, make sure uh, again, that you don't have anything out there uh, that can blow around that you kind of want to keep before these winds come in. The biggest concern right now with the wind speeds, we know that these uh, mean that we're going to see a high likelihood of trees that topple, but also of electric outages. And unfortunately, behind the wind speeds comes some of the coldest weather we have seen. In fact, the coldest weather we've seen this season and really the coldest that we've seen since last, not this last Christmas, but the Christmas over in 2022. So some really cold air will be in place. Unfortunately, there's likely going to be a couple of homes out there still dealing with with some power outages as we're heading into uh, next week. So this afternoon, mostly rain, but there will be a little bit of a mix out there along I-80 and into the Laurel Highlands when it comes to snow. Snow showers will be around on Saturday. Some places are going to see some significant amounts of snow coming through, uh, but in the Pittsburgh area, it looks like just a dusting. Rain showers are set to arrive. Notice the time at about three or four o'clock. So the kids get out of school. If they're walking home, they get to walk home with temperatures at around 40 degrees, but then just after they getting home, that's when the rain is expected to arrive in most places. Rain will be fairly steady. We're looking at about three quarters of an inch to around eight or nine o'clock. We'll see some spotty showers even after that. Waking up tomorrow, the rain showers change over to snow showers. We'll see snow off and on through the day. Big totals will be possible north of I-80 and then also over in the Somerset higher elevations. You're looking at two to six inches. Everyone else Else isn't looking for much light snow sticking around the next couple of days. Hey, temperatures right now it's 31 outside winds out of the east at eight miles an hour. So there is a wind chill or wind chills down into the low 20s at this point. 38 now your Saturday high. I think that that midnight temperature is a little cooler than I had it yesterday. 27 your high temperature on Sunday and look at just how cold we are next week, including Wednesday morning. We're waking up to temperatures down at single digits.